In this video I will be true to my own concept and try to develop cultural Hegelianism, namely the, the self-revelation of what Hegel calls absolute spirit to itself through the mediation of modern pop culture, uh, Evola's mystical teachings and Hegel's philosophy. And I will mostly talk about Evola and Naomi Wolf and her book Vagina, a new biography. But before I begin, I would like to say that <sighs> Hegel and Nietzsche are probably the most comical uh, partnership ever invented. Because when you understand that Nietzsche is to Hegel what Dionysus is to Apol uh, Apollo, yeah, uh, the Apollinian principle and the Dionysian principle, and that this this unity in 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 duality is, is Hegel's philosophy and Nietzsche's philosophy, so they are kind of the mirror image of one another, and when you understand one through the other, it's really comical. And Nietzsche said, the true man wants two things. He wants play and danger, and that's why the true man wants woman as the most dangerous play thing, because the real man wants to to play with woman, and, and he knows that he will suffer in the process, but um, the, the the reward of, of enjoying oneself is, is much uh, higher than the suffering uh, that one undergoes in the process. So, yeah. Uh, Evola says that in the, in the highest moments, the, the hates of sexuality, there occurs an interruption of consciousness. And my view about sex is that sexuality is, is inverted philosophy. And that philosophy is inverted sexuality. So, um, in philosophy, you are seeking to penetrate the essence of things. And in sexuality, you are seeking to penetrate women. So, the, the philosopher is the one who transcends his own sexuality and, and he doesn't need, uh, strictly speaking, to have sex because by the intellectual grasping of, of otherness and especially of, of women, he finds his own satisfaction and his own joy. So, yeah. And um, Evola reminds us that in most civilization before the, the modern Western world, uh, it was acknowledged that sexuality possessed a, a sacred nature, that it was not just the, the immediate uh, satisfaction of, of, of basic sexual needs and pleasures, but that there was a, a higher dimension and, and it enabled an access to a higher state of consciousness. And what men and women seek, and especially women in, in sex, is ecstasy. And ecstasy is a religious word at first, which means to, to go, uh, to, to, be, to be taken out of oneself, to be raptured, to be, to be, to be, to transcend the individual ego and, and to, to, to unite with a higher, um, a higher self, which enables the contemplation of, of divine mysteries and heavenly heavenly joy. So it's very important to 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 remind myself and, and, and those watching this that what women seek in sexuality is to attain ecstasy. And women are, are obsessed about sex. Woman is 100% sexuality, whereas man is 99% sexuality and 1% philosophy. But since philosophy is kind of a transcendent version of sex, one might say that man is, is also 100% sexuality, but he has this spiritual dimension. And I would like you to, to notice that <laughs> women have two modes of, of seeking um, to fulfill their sexuality. There's the basic one by just being penetrated by men in, in sexual intercourse. And the women who are more... Um, virtuous in a way um, and and more uh, have more chastity I, I'm not sure that's the proper word but those who appear as not 
willing to have a lot of sex, the religious women or, or faithful women who, who, don't, who don't engage in, in sexual intercourse uh, very often or only with their husband or, or not at all and devote themselves to a religious ideal. It seems that they are more virtuous, but what, what they seek actually is a different kind of ecstasy. They, they seek a spiritual uh, ecstasy and what, what women seek in, in orgasm, what they want in, 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 in physical sex is orgasm, which enables them to, to access a higher state of consciousness, to be liberated from their empirical existence. And what religious women, devo devoted women, those who, who, who are um, <laughs> in, in, in spiritual things and religious things, they seek the same thing. In, and it's in, a, in an inverted proportion. The more a, a woman is sexual in the physical realm, the less she is in the spiritual realm and, and inversely. So, yeah. Um, think about those, those uh, mystical women who who probably never had sex uh, a sing uh, not, not a single time in their entire life, but what they sought in, in spirituality was to have spiritual sex, which is real sex, with, with a supernatural principle. And yeah. Uh, Hevola notices that in modern Western civilization, woman has become dominant and, and man has become decadent. And there is a principle of polarity between man and woman that a man is a man to the extent that he is not a woman, and a woman is a woman to the extent that she is not a man. So it's a magnetic uh, uh, polarity, and uh, the, the the rise of of, of women in, mo in in modern Western civilization, which has brought about the downfall of Western civilization, is correlated by the fall of Western men. And in order to to restore the greatness of Western civilization, modern men must elevate themselves and transcend themselves and and become real men again. And and if they become real men, women will become real women, and and the <laughs> the, the cosmic balance will be restored. Um, yeah. And my purpose with with um, cultural Hegelianism in some other video that I made is to to have a spiritual intercourse with modern women which are present in, 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 in everyday pop culture to, to help you and to help myself notice that what you see in, in, in um, um, modern songs with these very beautiful, very attractive women, you should not seek to be sexually aroused physically by the beauty of these women. Of course, you will be because they are, they are very beautiful, but you should seek to, to see the platonic archetype which is being expressed in modern pop culture with, with women such as Avril Lavigne, Katy Perry, uh, Lana Del Rey, um, uh, Britney Spears, uh, uh, the singer of uh, Hayley Williams, the singer of Paramore, and, and many other, Rihanna, Beyonce. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm seeking to do with, with, with this channel is to show you and to show myself that these women, on a, if you have the, the proper spiritual understanding, are a manifestation of, of a platonic archetype. They, they express an aspect of, of the eternal woman. And if you mediate the, your, your immediate experience of watching video, uh, music, music singles, music um, videos, by, by philosophy, you will understand and you will see the deception and, and you will grasp the truth, which is the manifestation of a platonic archetype. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, pornography is inverted spirituality, and uh, the more that's that's common knowledge. But the more men watch pornography, the less their mind is elevated, and they are decadent and degraded, and they lose their their sexual stamina and their sexual spark and their sexual power, and they become weak and, and decadent. So that's why in the right wing sphere. Those who, who want to teach men to man up and to, to shape up, <laughs> the first thing they say is to stop watching pornography because it, 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 it degrades your, your spirits, literally. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, devoted women, religious women, what they seek uh, is spiritual sex, which is possession by the Holy Spirit, which is being illuminated. 
And Evola notices that in the twilight period of civilization, woman becomes dominant because man becomes decadent, and that's why we call it the Kali Yuga, the age of darkness. And man has, Plato already noticed this, has a free a part being the, the, the head, which is the principle of the, the, the seat of, of the intellectual principle, the breast, which is the seat of, of courage and heroic spirit, and the lower parts, the belly and the, the genital parts, which is the, the parts of, of which, which need and want food and sex. And the purpose of man is to, to elevate, to, to, to negate as much as possible the lower parts and to find the inner uh, courageous spark within his heart and, and the intellectual principle within his mind and, and to, to transcend himself. And Plato already no, knew it. Uh, our civilization is neither intellectual nor heroic. There are exceptions, of course, but on a broader uh, picture, men, including myself, of course, are interested, and especially myself, interested in, in the basic needs. And the whole difficulty, but the challenge also, is to transcend your, your sexual and, and, and uh, material, physical needs and, and to, to feed your mind with the highest thoughts and to... to to, to, to light up, to start a, a fire within your heart, to, to elevate the, 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 the courageous principle within you. And um, yes, yeah, so he talks about the Kali Yuga, the Dark Age, but it's a dialectical process. And here we find Hegel is that when the, the Dark Age uh, attains its, its, its highest peak or its lowest fall, uh, light comes out of the dark, and we see real men rising again in, in the, in the right-wing sphere, Western men willing to, to, to step up, to shape up, to defend what they believe in, and to, to, to become masculine again. And uh, those masculine men attract feminine women. That's a dialectical process. That's a, a magnetic attraction. Um, and um, Evola also says that the poison should be turned into a medicine. That's, that's the whole purpose and the whole process of dialectics because dialectics is a poison, it's a curse, but it's also a blessing because it consists in negating oneself and rejoining with oneself. And, and the negating part is, is painful, but the, the rejoining part is, is happy and joyful. And um, like I said, it's like alcohol for Homer Simpson. Dialectics is the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, he talks about the genocracy, which is the, the, the power or the dominance of, of women. And it is correlated with the fall of man. It's not because women are dominant that men are decadent. It's because men have allowed themselves to, be, to become decadent that women have risen in power and um, the rise of, of Islam in, 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 in Western Europe is uh, enabled by the weakness of men and, and by the, the, the power of women because women, when a man is weak, women seeks to restore the balance and to, to marry the strongest male and, and the Muslim immigrants are, are brave and bold and strong and confident. So unconsciously, women want to replace their... <laughs> Western men by, by immigrants who are more bold and, and have more more a vital a vital spark and are willing to take risks and and like I said in another video uh, Western men are being replaced because they have allowed themselves to become replaceable and if they want to to save their civilization they just have to make themselves irreplaceable by conquering themselves and the, 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 the consequence would be the reconquista of, of their women. <laughs> that's, uh, and that's it. So that was for Evola's part. And um, I will make uh, other, another video about uh, Naomi Wolf uh, vagina. And, and I will try to connect the dots. And that's it.